Yo, it's your favorite OG back in the building, man. Your boy Dub Q, and I'm back here with the researchers of the Black Cat Panther podcast, man. Make no mistake about it. You already see what time it is. You already see the topic. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make that notification bell go ding. Look, is quarterback a lot of things for the Carolina? Is it going to be a reach? for the Carolina Panthers if we go out. And make sure you don't trip before you even, you know, hear me out on this one. I'm putting this in the in the tense of we go out, we sign Derek Carr, we go out, we sign Jacoby Brissett, or potentially bring in a veteran presence at quarterback. Any guy, whether that's Sam Darnold. If we bring in a vet at quarterback, along with Matt Corral that we have on the staff already, When it comes time to pick at number nine, does quarterback have to be the potential pick that we all still yearn for? I'm here to let you guys know that no. And I know this is shocking. Quarterback is the single most important position in the entire NFL. If you don't have a quarterback, you have nothing. But you also have to realize that if you go out and get a bridge quarterback, you do not have to reach for a quarterback at position number nine. There are a couple of guys that will be sitting there second round grades or better that you could take potentially to get you over the hump. Now, enter. I know you guys saying we want CJ, we want Bryce. Well, I believe that those two guys will be going. uh, And based off of what Scott Federer said about treating in his last interview, it don't sound like it's going to happen. He said, and I quote him, if you have conviction, you go up and you get your guy. But do know, if you if that guy does not develop or turns out to be what you think he should be or pans out, you just set your franchise back by three years. So he made it sound like the safe option is to take your time, get a bridge quarterback, and potentially look at somebody that you can bring in the groom. That way you don't have to rush him out there. I'm under the same impression. I'm sitting here and I'm looking like, hmm, you've got Tanner McKee, Anthony Richardson, you got Hendon Hooker, you got a bevy of guys that's sitting right there in the second round that you could potentially take and go best player available in the first round. Like I said, you can go uh, edge rusher, you can go defensive line. If Jalen Carter is sitting there and at that first number pick number nine, you do not let him go by. You get Jalen Carter and you pair him with Derek Brown and Brian Burns because that'll be the baddest line that anybody in the NFC South would ever have to see. You go out and you make that happen immediately. But if the event, in the event that he's not there, you take your time and you find somebody. Miles Murphy will be sitting right there. You take your time if you want to go skill position and get a, 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 a exciting weapon for your young quarterback. You go out and you go and do that. Go get one of the best receivers in the draft. Anything is possible at pick number nine if you have a bridge quarterback already in place. The mind frame here is to let's shift the focus. Now the time is, is Scott Federer, Frank Wright are going to fill this team completely out. So to anyone who thinks that, you know, we're going to trade up, I think the possibility has already been laid to rest with his uh, interview at the Combine. That has been laid to rest fully. I think we all should just be looking forward to uh, basically getting a bridge and potentially moving to get your guy, whether that's second round or either in the first round at number nine. And for me, if I was personal, I would get the best player available that could really relaunch this team and help be a star. And then I would go get my quarterback afterwards. But I know a lot of people are thinking like, Will, what, Q, what you doing? You, you, you're you crazy right now. Quarterback has been a position that we lack for the longest. Why not you go out and t- target him at number nine? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. And this is just me saying, if you get the number nine and Levis is there or it's down to Tanner McKee at number nine in this draft, Levis or either Tanner McKee to me is somewhat of a reach because the talent and the numbers that those guys put up, they don't equal a number nine selection 
to be taken. I hate to say it. I hate to do this to you guys who watch it. But if you go back and look at the numbers for Levis, 19 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. I know he was hurt majority of the year, but if you suit up to play, you're not hurt to me in my eyes. Look, OG has spoken. We're going to go ahead and take that and move on. So with that being said, when it comes to, you know, the potentials, you go out, you make sure you get you a star. And I like certain guys, but I'm not going to single it down to one guy. All I'm going to say is you do not reach at number nine if a certain guy is not there. If Anthony Richardson is not there at number nine, you do not reach. If Levis is there at number nine, I'd move on and get something else because I don't think that, for me, Levis gets the job done. I know he would be a great poster boy for everybody because of, you know, he has the baby face. But for me, I need more than the baby face. So anybody else to me is just a reach. But I'm not going to be biased. What I'm going to do is keep my mind free flowing. So you can trade back or you can potentially, like I said, take the best player available and look to the second round to get some of those guys that'll be sitting right there. There's no need to reach. Look, we reached for a lot of things before. We reached when we had when it got Sam Donner for a second and a fifth. We reached on Teddy Bridgewater. We reached on bringing Cam Newton back. I'm tired of reaching. Carolina, let's t take our time and get this thing right. Enough of the, the rushing and trying to go up there and beat everybody to a what punch. Take your time. There's no need for us to get eccentric, man. Let's take our time, do this thing, and do it the correct way. That's all I'm asking for. This has been your boy, Dub Q. And I know if you feel some kind of way about this, make sure you like and subscribe. I got more. Your boy just getting started.